<laughs> You're not going to believe this. You are not going to believe it, frugal friends. Oh my gosh. Welcome back, frugal friends. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Julie, also known as the Frugal Mama. On this channel, we dumpster dive and we live a fabulous, full, frugal life. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss what we have coming up next. On the top of today's agenda, going through this tote, well, tote and a half of this weekend's dumpster picks. Let's jump in. I've got one of my handy dumpster tablecloths laid out. We're watching The Mummy. Uh, Brendan Fraser and his day. Good stuff. We're going to get started on this. I think I will go ahead and just sort it all out and then uh, we'll show you what all we've what all we've got here is what we had in the dry tote you'll remember that it was rainy this weekend and in fact this coming weekend it'll be a snowy dumpster dive so we had stuff that got wet and then we had stuff that did not and awesomely happily gratefully fortunately all of these things were inside a plastic bag so they did not get wet so this is what we're starting with today how about this? This is so cool. Three of these uh, quick and easy Christmas, it's like what, paper craft magazine or something like that? Uh, Simply cards and paper craft. And all of them are still in the packages. Nothing got slashed or destroyed. How freaking cool is that? And they all come with this awesome little nativity uh, die cut set thing. So all three of these, yep, three of them, those will all go onto eBay. Our eBay link is in the video description. There is this little basket, which would be really great for just putting like uh, seedlings or plants in. There is a little, uh, what are these called? Pick of what? Blooming autumn. So we can save that for some of our autumn decorations or craft projects. There is some satin blanket binding. It is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful shiny orange. This we could use for our dumpster quilt. Yes, I know we need to get going on that. This package of another blooming autumn and these are wood curls. Oh, I did not realize that those were wood. I uh, hadn't looked closely at them till just now. <laughs> and I had assumed they were like silk flowers, but they're not. They're little wood curl flowers, which are incredibly popular in the crafting realm right now. But I'll tell you, they can be really tricky to store, like any projects that you make. These get damaged really easily, so we'll have to be careful with those. But we'll add those to our crafting supplies. A sprig of lilac and a bit of a little white carnation. There is a wreath, a foam wreath, and normally we find these broken in half and we'll make little swags or things with them. In fact, uh, P.S., yes, uh, the crafting video that I'm putting up this Saturday or next Saturday, depending on where it fits in our life, is going to be uh, a little arch swag thing for Valentine's Day, so stay tuned for that. I know a lot of you have been asking for upcycling and craft videos using our dumpster salvage supplies. I'm working on it. We'll be doing a Valentine's one really, really soon. I'm, I'm going to get it done. But anyway, this one just needs to be taped and it can still be a wreath. So super awesome. There are some Singer scissors and it says that uh, it says damages, but it doesn't specify what exactly is wrong with them. So stay tuned for an update video. Those come out on Saturdays, alternating with crafting videos and things like that. And we'll try them out and we'll see what is wrong with them and if they can be repaired. There is a coloring activity book. The book itself has not been used. Looks like it has stickers. Yep, it has stickers. So you can see that it did get wet a little bit, which is unfortunate, but the stickers did not get wet. So we can definitely take those. And the kids, yeah, I don't think we'll save the book itself because it's, it's mostly ruined, but we can salvage the stickers. There is a Vampirina image ink little book and some of you will remember that last weekend we found one of these like where the book was missing but the pen was still in there and sealed so i saved that pen and we can just put it with this and there you go that's something we can have while we're on the road road tripping and whatnot We've got patterns, and you'll remember that in that tote over there that we're going to be going through later, 
there were all those other patterns that we salvaged, but they had been on the open side of the dumpster and had been exposed to the rain, which was really unfortunate. I did grab them and we'll see what we can do and if any of them can be salvaged, let's hope. But all of these ones were inside a plastic bag and did not get wet, which, oh, that is so fantastic. So we've got these ones. They are all occasion handbags, a couple of those, and those are so cute. And of course you could use any kind of fabric uh, to do that. And we have found mountains of fabric in the bins. Then there is an apron. And this one I think I'm gonna keep for myself, this pattern, and maybe make uh, a dumpster apron at some point. Um, these you'll recognize because we have found some of these before. They're like little Halloween goodie bags cute. Then one of this, how freaking adorable is that? A little floofy, floofy uh, <laughs> dress. This is super cute. Mermaid outfit things. I know the girls, my girls would just love that. Then we've got this one here, a little girl outfit. Uh, very rare, but we did get one for boys. That's doesn't happen terribly often. And then we've got some women's outfits right there. Super cute, several of them. Love getting multiples like this because they're super easy to list on eBay that way and it only takes one listing for the whole stack of that same one. A lot less work, a lot less listing fees, which right now I am waiting for more free listings. I, I contemplated getting an eBay store, but the value was just not there for me. So I've got to wait till they offer me some more free listings. You get 50 free listings at the beginning of each month without having a store. There's a little tip for you for today. But uh, I used those up <laughs> really quick, just activating the drafts that I had already gotten done and still have several more. So hang in there, those that love buying our magazines and patterns and stuff on our eBay store well not store our ebay page i am just waiting for more free listings for those otherwise it's 35 cents per listing plus all the fees that come after and shipping costs have gone up with the new year so i have to wait for the free listings otherwise i lose my margins of profit and that cuts into our traveling and fun money so not gonna do that <laughs> all right i'm gonna get all this cleaned up and we will jump into the rest before I start sorting all this out, let's just do the big stuff first. So there is this uh, little farm birdhouse thing, super duper cute. And I had not realized, but the other piece of the roof is actually in there. So we could take and just fix that roof and have us a fun little birdhouse. Or we can do like one of you suggested, which I think is a fabulous idea, and use this as a planter, especially where you know I love having plants everywhere. So we shall see. Stay tuned for an update on what we do with that. Then there is a, a tote, not broken at all, just needs to be washed. We get all of our like plastic baskets and stuff like that from the bins. We don't buy those anymore. There are two broken mirrors. We did not break them, so no bad luck for us. They have great frames. We also, just like one of you mentioned, we can use some of the mirror parts for one of our mosaics. And I do have other broken mirror parts in our collection for the mosaic. We might save some of those, we'll see. There is a Santa little tin, like a cookie plate. There is this sign that just needs a minor repair. It says family is the greatest blessing and has this fun basket. So I'm going to see if I can figure that out. It looks like it just needs to be soldered right there. I do not have a soldering gun. That is one thing that is on my list. I actually, this kills me to say, but I found one in the bins a couple years ago and I ended up either selling it or donating it and wishing, oh my goodness, wishing ever since that I would have kept it for minor repairs like this. I also want to learn how to weld just, you know, simple, easy stuff so that I can repair things like this super easy. But for now, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that <laughs> without a soldering gun and without welding. I might have to just put this away until I do have a soldering gun. I don't know. Then there are two of these lovely spring signs. These are so cute. I think I'm going to put one in the bathroom and then one some well in the upstairs bathroom and then one somewhere else here uh, in the front room or the living room I don't know but they're gorgeous and I'm in love with them 
And then there is a roll of cellophane. It was a little bit wet. It has completely dried, just as I suspected. Oh, P.S. All of this stuff is from either the craft store or the Dollar Tree. And then there were three boxes of the Delicious Deals Swiss Rolls that were only very recently past the sell-by date. We've already started eating them, and they are delicious. There is this little wooden watering can that you're supposed to paint, and it's like a birdhouse. I'm trying to see what's wrong with it. I don't know. Is there something I'm missing? Am I not? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Right here, something is broken. A piece of the wood is broken right there. We have so many little wooden thingies, <laughs> wooden cutouts that we have recovered from the bins. We can just add one right there if we want to. So that's awesome. There is a little hoop and it says that it is damaged. It's like a, a cross stitch or embroidery hoop. Oh, I see right here. It's missing one of the little, what are those called? Grommets or something, but I wonder if it'll still work. Hmm. We'll try it. Then let's see. There is a pole, which we could add to our metal scrap, but these, this wouldn't even earn us a penny in metal scrap uh fees fees whatever payout and p.s yeah metal scrap here the prices are horrible i am going to be doing a video about metal scrap because a lot of you ask me about it and i will be doing a video about that as far as our personal experience here soon but instead of scrapping this i'm going to hold on to it because these come in really handy i highly recommend having a couple of these you know broomsticks around for painting and when you know because these break regularly right they're not they're not anything tough it's not wood and I've actually broken a couple of mop handles just with some very vigorous mopping and been so glad that I had an extra one of these on hand so kept me from having to buy a whole new mop when the mop head was still good so okay the rest of this I'm gonna get it sorted out a lot of this yeah it's all stuff that like got wet but I have my tablecloth here from the bins and we'll get this sorted and then we'll take a look <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe this. You are not going to believe it, frugal friends. Oh my gosh. I legit went through every single one of these patterns. These were all on the wet side of the bin. Not one of them got ruined of these ones. Look at these. I Seriously, I went through every single one and all of these patterns are just fine. Now we did have some casualties, as was expected. We just grabbed everything we could reach and unfortunately these ones here it is a shame and a sadness but we cannot dwell on it but all of these will just go in the recycling how freaking cool is it even these fun cosplay ones yeah we were able to salvage all of these so when I get some more listings these will all be available on our eBay page. I will go ahead and get the draft listings done, though, which came in so handy when my February free listings came available. I just had to go through and activate, 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 which was awesome. So I will get all of these onto draft listings here soon. But anyway, let's look at them. So, uh... They're not all new look. I thought they were, but there are some simplicity. I'll have to get those sorted out. But my first concern was just checking them, seeing what could be salvaged. I will separate them by brand. I do try to do all of this from the get-go now. I've learned to work smarter, not harder. And, you know, while I'm documenting and showing you guys all this, I try to also get them ready to go into uh, the eBay shed and all of that. Just save myself time so that, you know, we can <laughs> be more efficient and focus on other things in my life and not let uh, our dumpster diving and eBay business overtake everything. So work smarter, not harder. There's another tip. So we've got this one here. It's got uh, dresses and blouses and a little pantsuit kind of a thing. This, I've, I've found this one before and I have sold a few of them, but we'll just add this. And that's a cool thing because this one is already listed on eBay. So all I have to do is increase the quantity. So I will not have to lose a listing for this one. So that's awesome. 
Some of these, I'm trying to see if any of these other ones are ones that I already have listed. Maybe that one, maybe. Adorable little dresses and uh, ballet type stuff. Look how freaking cute this is. And that little girl, she is just, oh my goodness, cute as a button. Adorable, look how nice that is. And uh, men's and women's stuff, you don't find that terribly often, or at least I don't, so that's cool. Some dresses there, like I said, the cosplay stuff. Some simple, like kind of summer pants and skirts. Uh, this this one I was pretty worried about because the package did get messed up pretty good, but I will show all of those details in the pictures on the listing so that whoever buys it will not be surprised or disappointed when they see that the package itself is pretty mangled. Be honest in your listings. Yes, John Mueller, my darling, I am working on uh, some eBay tutorial videos. It's just taking longer than I had anticipated. Uh, patterns are definitely our most consistent seller. If you are one of our Patreon patron, Patreon patrons and have access um, to what we've been selling on eBay and how much it's been selling for, uh, that is at the $3 level on Patreon linked in the video description, then you'll know that patterns are the ones that sell most often. And a couple other things we found, there is this little lantern. I'm guessing it probably had glass, but it doesn't need it. It looks awesome without it. You could put a candle in here, which is awesome because I've been needing something to put a candle in. I have a particular candle that we saved from the bins and its glass was broken and I've been needing something uh, to, to, to put it on a plate of some kind and it will fit perfectly here and will make a fabulous little spring accent. You could also do flowers or like a little pretty figurine or something in here. Uh, stay tuned, I will show you what we end up doing with this and maybe even show you some other options of ways to use it. Candles that we were able to salvage. We are always burning candles in this house. That's <laughs> a rather ghetto little dumpster configuration that we have going on there, but it does the job. So these ones, yeah, and they, oh, they smell so good. These were all in jars like this and their jars were broken and that's why they were in the bins. This one I think is also cracked somewhere. Yeah, cracked right there, but no problem. That's fine with us. And then there was this one and we have found several of these where the glass was broken and we've burned the candles. This one, I don't know, Some something got to it and gouged it right there. And so they threw that one out, but we'll burn that. Olivia found a makeup thing. It still had the package, but the package was all wet, so I took that off. It obviously got shook around a little bit, shaken up a little, but she'll still use that, just needs to clean it up, and I will let her do that since it was her find. And then, last but not least, there were the cough relief, and there were several of them, and they are several months expired. I did only just grab one of them because... Uh, I just, I don't know, you know, with expired medications. Yeah. But I figure these are, you know, <laughs> if the apocalypse came, I watch lots of, lots of disaster movies, lots of zombie movies, you guys, you know that. If, if a major disaster end of the world situation came, we would not care about expiration dates. So I went ahead and grabbed one of them. Yeah because why not? Okay, so that is all of this weekend's dumpster finds. We'll see you all real soon. Have a marvelous day, frugal friends. Take care. Thanks for watching.